second message that God gave me when I was praying uh, from Friday to Saturday. It's a message about Christians who are believing God for marriage. The message is entitled, Be Careful of Dating Signs. Be careful of dating signs. So it's, it's just a general message for those who are not yet married, who are expecting God to, to, to bless them with the blessing of marriage. Hallelujah. The message is entitled, Be Careful of What? Yes, if you are believing God for a spouse, this thing of joining dating signs. Why well, least we don't have a verse against it? Just be careful about it. Be careful about posting pictures on these signs, on these funny signs. Hallelujah. Be very careful. Hallelujah. If you are believing God for a spouse, Ask God whether you should be on that website. Talking to people whom you do not know. Because God was showing me people who were, who were running among the stars. Who were running among the, what? the stars. So the, the vision was confusing. I'm saying, I'm seeing people who are running among the stars. What does it mean? The Holy Spirit says, there are some of your people who have joined a number of websites. Where to define yourself, you have to associate yourself with the constellation of stars, like Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer, and so on. And God was saying, I am hindered, because these people have already identified themselves with the demonic principalities that assumed names of those constellations of stars. Did you hear what I said? I am hindered. I am what? In the meantime, the brother is fasting for a spouse. In the meantime, the sister is fasting for a what? And then God is responding by saying, I am hindered. Because these people are already identifying themselves with the demonic principalities which have adopted names of constellation of stars. Those names that are given on horoscope, and Christians should not associate themselves with the horoscope, with the horoscope, or astrology. Those names are names of actual planets and stars which were created by God. The, the cancer actually exists in the universe. Such as it also exists. These are constellations of stars which actually exist in the universe because the universe is quite huge. But evil spirits have adopted those names. So when people say, I am Sagittarius, you find a person with a cup which is written Sagittarius. You have yoked yourself under that evil spirit. And there is no pastor who can pray for you to be delivered, because you belong to a demonic family, which is called what? Sagittarians. Some, they've yoked themselves to Aries, others to Cancer, some to Taurus, and so on and so forth. So if you were reading the horoscope, or you, you had gone to these websites where you fill in your details, and then you also select a constellation of stars according to your birthday, my advice to you, if you really need an answer from God, not only in terms of a spouse, but in any area of your life, just go and delete your profile. Go and do what? And then start praying to God and see whether God will not answer you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know there are so-called Christian dating signs. Say so-called. Ah, because any person can define himself or herself as a Christian, even a Muslim. <laughs> Do you think if a Muslim 
is driven by lust and is looking for beautiful women, what is impossible with defining oneself as a Christian? You only discover when you are in a relationship with this person that the person is actually a Muslim or a Hindu. Such things have taken place. We have dealt with situations like that, where a sister hooked up with someone whom they hardly know because the person was professing to be a Christian, only to discover that the person is a practicing Hindu or Buddhist, and they actually have a shrine in their home. Because you don't know the bona fides, you, you can't say, yes, I've found a Christian man. He's in my age group, and people can lie about their age. A man who is older than Unlov, I'm nearing 50 now, this man can post pictures of himself when he was young. <laughs> Human beings are cunning. <laughs> they post themselves pictures of themselves when they were young. And then the person says, I'm looking for someone to marry. I'm between 32 and 37, when the man is 54 years old. Such things, they, they happen. You tell yourself you are dating someone who just finished, you know, university. When you are dating a grown-up man who has got children who are older than you. It's, it's possible. You say it's possible. So God said, I must come and share this message. Be careful about what dating sites, including so-called Christian ones. Am I saying it's a sin? I didn't say it's a sin, but it can be inconvenient to you. It can make your prayers take longer to be answered. Because when you are just about to break through, the devil will be sending people to distract your attention on the dating site. You will discover you have got an inbox message from Jamaic of someone who is interested in you. In the meantime, God has sent someone in the physical world, someone that you are able to start. Someone who is from Kulumane when we are from Kanwin. Or someone who is from Mabuku when we are from Poroten. And then now you are waking up with someone who is in Jamaica. I don't know whether the person is a devil worshiper, or is a Satanist, or is a Muslim, or is a Hindu. You start to rejoice that I'm, I'm in love, you know. Men of God, there is someone that I'm in love with. It's just that we have misunderstood. Is, is that a real person? Look at your neighbor and say, is that a real person? <laughs> I know some are uncomfortable at this message. It's not a sermon. It's a message of exhortation. So if you are looking for a spouse, you must be like Rebecca. Rebecca was not going to dating signs. She was just waiting patiently for a husband. Just imagine if Rebecca would try to look for, for Isaac from a dating sign. Isaac was to come with Eliezer, not with a dating sign. I know it works for some people, but in this season of spiritual awakening, God wants to supply, just like what he did at the mountain of Moriah. He wants to what? To supply. So how will God and the dating site to supply at the same time? <laughs> and some of those sites you have to pay money in order to find a spouse. <laughs> but what? Look at you, Mufaz. Go up at the level, guys. Up at the level, look at you, Mufaz. You pin to, you to sum to a little love or a friend. Even Jacob, he was not that foolish. He was working for a woman that he had found. Just imagine having to start paying Lopola for a woman who doesn't exist. <laughs> Say he is talking to us. And if you are a married man who belongs to a dating site, just delete your profile. 
if you are a married woman who still visits a, a dating site, saying, ah, no, it, there are some in the dating site who pray with me. There's nothing like that. <laughs> 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 if you are married, who do you want to date when you are married? You must be dating your wife or your husband. Look at your neighbor and say, if you are married, you have got someone to date. If you are a woman, you have got your husband to date. And if you are a man, you have got your wife to date. So, for people who are married, I, I'm not saying be careful about dating sites. I'm, my, the message is leave dating sites. It will unlock many answers to your prayers. Because the devil uses small things to colonize us so that he can hinder the blessings of God. In the meantime, sometimes you can rise and become a church leader or rise to pray in tongues, and, to, and then you are not aware why you are hindered. And you are not aware why God is hindered. So this is one thing which, says, which God said. Because I saw people running among stars in a vision. I couldn't understand the vision. Until God told me, these people who are running among stars, it's people who have associated themselves with constellations of stars. And that these stars that you are seeing are not real stars. These are evil spirits. They are trying to map their destiny among evil spirits. So the devil, if it is such a tyrant, it's supposed to be a constellation of real stars with real names. So the devil, because he can't create anything, he simply replicated evil spirits in that group with the names of that star, and the principality in, in that group will be called Sagittarians. And then you come and you say, as a human being, I'm now a human version of Sagittarians. And then my question is, where can your life go? And then also in connection with this message, <laughs> the Spirit of God told me, that if you were in a relationship with someone and uh, you are keeping physical things of that someone, find a way of either returning them or destroying them for your life to go forward. If the person is no longer in your life. Hallelujah. I'm not talking about people who are married. We have got uh, documents, important documents in their possession. Documents which can affect their welfare. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about people who are in ordinary relationships with, with certain people. And they maybe they took photos or they've got photos or physical things of certain people that they were in a relationship with. If the person is no longer in your life and the person, you have got evidence that the person has moved on, the Spirit of God says you have got no business keeping the things that belong to that person on your person. Because when you keep those things, it's not really those things that you are keeping, it's that person that you are keeping in your life. It is who? And then some people, they make an album of all the girlfriends that they dated. And then they come with a, a placard. I want a breakthrough in what? I want a breakthrough in what? I want a breakthrough in what? He alpam gay. He alpam gay. Look at your neighbor and say, what is in your photo album? <laughs> say, what is in your album? Because some after the church service, they just feel a prompting in their mind to go and visit the album. They are looking at the boyfriend that they had at high school. 
and they finished high school 15 years ago. And this person, even if the person were to be a boyfriend again, is no longer a boy. The man is a grown-up man now, <laughs> in the early 40s. You are still keeping a picture of that man. You are tormenting that man. You are still keeping a picture of that woman when she was still a girl wearing a uniform at high school. Why are you keeping that? Look at your neighbor and say, why are you keeping that? Say, the pastor is asking why. I'm assisting a lot of people. It's not a sermon. As you can see, there are no verses. It's a message which is meant to assist a lot of people. Hallelujah. So, if you are married, remember, leave dating sites alone, alone. You should be dating your wife or your husband and dating Jesus until you are seriously in love with Jesus and your spouse. When that happens, you will have a lot of breakthroughs. Hallelujah. Say, I need a lot of breakthroughs. I need a lot of breakthroughs. 